Welcome to this short guide on how to deal with a doctor in chases. This guide will teach you how to properly loot the doctor, use the flashlight against him, as well as some key abilities and weaknesses. So, in this scenario, I am being chased by the doctor, funny enough. And as you can see right here, what you would normally do against most regular killers is that you would continuously loop the same loop over and over and over to get the max distance out of the loop. Now, the problem with doing that against the doctor is that you will get sapped multiple times, maybe like one, two, three times, and he'll just basically hit you because you can't pull uh, down the pallet and it's game over. So, what you do against the doctor is that you use the other loops or objects around the loop you're looping to your advantage. So you're gonna use these barrels that are in front of me uh, to right and then that very 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 nice car over there. I didn't use it in this scenario but I have different scenarios I'm gonna show that. So it's very simple so you just turn to the right and that makes the doctor miss. Now the good thing about this is that not only do you dodge the attack from the doctor but you don't really lose any major distance as well. When doing this if you just regular dodge the attack you would lose a lot of distance it's a little bit similar if you try to dodge a huntress because you couldn't change the move on you but by just changing loop direction in the loop you do not really lose any distance and you still get to dodge the zapper's zap so as you can see right here keep running so rather than go for the pallet like you normally would i just run straight across just straight across and that works so what you can do again is just mix it up by just my game in the doctor and just going for a record loop once in a while as well. Because you can see right here, if you keep doing the same thing, the doctor will predict you and he will zap you and you will not be able to pull down that pallet. You don't want that you do not want that to happen. So I pretty much escaped the scenario. I had a firecracker as you can see right here. You can see I dropped him right behind this tire because it's that line of sight from the doctor and that means he gets blinded and I basically get to escape from this little scenario. Here's another case example of me being chased by the doctor and it's just to emphasize the importance in changing loop duration as you can see right here. This time I just ran straight across and it's basically just about being as unpredictable as possible. So I'm running zigzags, I'm running across. Um, taking that zap is not that big of a deal. You can also try and throw in uh, some dodges to throw off the doctor a little bit. Like getting that zap is not that important as long as you're not within that like critical strike distance of the pallet. Unless you have like a flashlight or or a pallet or something, then it's not that bad really. So another thing you can do is also just straight up abandon loop if you do not find it very very favorable. So a loop like this is not it's okay because you can change directions but it's a really really short side loop here you just get really easy at mind game if you try to circle around this one um, as you can see as soon as the doctor starts to zap you just run away and he's either gonna miss or he's gonna have to like just um undo the zapping you can see this one again this is also a really unsafe loop it has only two sides like basically two exits and once you drop that pallet over there, that's it. The dog is going to zap you and you will take a hit. So you can see I'm just going to abandon that loop again. I do not want to do that. So when you're being chased by the doctor, it's really important to look backwards at the doctor and see if he's trying, um, if he's like pulling his hand to try and zap you. Then you know you will have to fake the pallet. The thing about the doctor is that his zap extends in a cone. So in this loop, for instance, it doesn't really matter where in the loop I position myself, I will get hit behind the pallet, at the pallet, or in front of the pallet. If the doctor zaps here, you have to abandon the loop or fake it, because you get zapped, and the doctor will basically mind game you, and you will get down, so you have to try and fake it. Now obviously, the doctor can obviously fake zapping you, but then we're talking about a mind game, uh, on a mind game, and then it basically comes down to who reads who best. Does that make sense? Another option is to run close to the doctor while he's about to zap you. Because the doctor's zap extends from a single point and then extends into a cone, it's easy to dodge him the closer you are to him, unless he's running something like the interview tab add-on of course. Now, I would only recommend this as a last resort because the doctor can simply undo the zapping and hit you, and usually you will need a pallet or window close for this to actually work. Otherwise, you'll just end up getting a hit immediately after. 
you can often use the flashlight quite effectively against the doctor. The doctor will often try and zap when you're getting close to a panel or window to deny it. This makes it quite easy to blind the doctor when he tries to zap you. Simply start blinding him as you get closer to the pallet. This works most of the time, mostly because doctors are not used to dealing with this yet. Most doctors either look away or try a random swing. Just make sure you don't enter a madness stage while doing it or your flashlight will flick into the air. Because the doctor can only zap in a horizontal plane, unlike the clown and huntress, it actually means he can deal with this quite easily by just looking up or down while zapping. However, in my 3000 hours plus, I have never seen a single doctor do this yet. Because a doctor can only zap horizontal, it means that certain loops with different altitudes are quite safe against him, like the combine for instance. However, it should be noted that doctor can actually zap slightly vertically by looking up, but not a lot. Deadheart is another good perk against a doctor because you can dash over the zap and not be affected by it. However, be aware that should you get zapped while deadhearting, your survival will not scream. However, you will still get the status effect in the corner of the screen, so look out for it. Another controversial perk is Calm Spirit, as it means you won't scream while getting zapped by the doctor. However, the doctor will still laugh and get point notification that he has zapped you. I mean, if he does pay attention, it doesn't really matter. The two chase perks, you should expect the doctor to carry a bamboozle and brutal strength. Bamboozle is an excellent perk for the doctor, as he can for instance zap you at the shack and then walk quickly through the window, so be aware of this. Brutal strength is also a great perk on the doctor, as he can often force early power drops from survivors. So for the end of the video, here are some statistics about the doctor that you might find useful. You can also find these on Wikipedia. Uh, there's one thing I'll say, and that is that you should be careful because the doctor can actually grab you while he is in treatment mode and a lot of survivors do not know this, so they often get surprised when they get grabbed at the hook. On that, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned how to deal with the doctor a little bit better because he can be quite a formidable killer to face, if you're facing a good one that is. Thanks guys.